Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this video, I'm going to solve the problem to some once again, even though there is a video already present in the channel. There are two main reasons uh, why I decided to solve once again. The first reason is many people are confused whether the time complexity is order of n square or it's order of n because the comments in the lead code uh, solution of mine shows that uh, few people are confused with the time complexity uh, where you guys can check my solution on lead code uh, i mentioned the solution link in the description and second reason is one of our subscribers said my audio was too low uh, in my previous video so considering his suggestion i also to make clear about the time complexity i decided to make another video on this one so let's dive into the solution so given an array of numbers we need to return the two indices okay we need to return two indices of two numbers that sum to the target okay we know we have only one solution in the problem so we need to return and we can return the answer in any order so we need to return the indices so now let's dive into the solution so before solving this problem if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting so now let's dive into the solution so initially i will be having an input array of nums so this is my input array and i also mentioned their indices and i have a target value of nine so i need to find two numbers that sum to nine okay so how i'm going to solve this so if you guys think in a brute force way we can solve this by keeping the first number and i and can iterate through rest of the numbers and i can find the the another number that sum to nine so this is going to be order of n square okay since we iterate by we, we will be using two for loops right so it's going to be order of n square but we can solve this in order of n time okay and with an extra space of order of n okay now we will see the logic here so i will be creating an empty dictionary initially okay initially i'm going to create a dictionary so whenever i see first i will pick the first number here it's two okay what i will do is i will pick two and i will check in my dictionary okay so what i will check i will first subtract two in my target here it's seven right it's my reminder it's seven I will check whether 7 is in my dictionary or not. No, 7 is not there, right? So if 7 is not there, I will store 2 with its index 0. Here it's 2 and its index is 0. Okay. In the next, next I will pick the next number. It's 7 okay now i will minus 7 with my in my, with my target right now i'm going to get 2 now i will check whether 2 is in my dictionary yes i have seen 2 previously okay i have seen 2 previously so since i have seen previously since there is 2 i'm going to return directly the i index that is index of the seven it's going to be one and the i'm going to pick the index of two from the dictionary which is nothing but zero okay one and zero i will return i will show you guys with another example as well so here i have another example so initially i will pick three okay so I will be having a dictionary. I have three here. I will subtract three in my target. 
I'm going to get 6 minus 3. Here, target is 6. I'm going to get 3. I will check whether 3 is there or not. No, it's not there. Since this 3 is not there, I'm going to store the input number with its index. So 3, 0. Now I will pick the next number, which is 2. Target minus 2, 6 minus 2 is going to be 4. Now I will check whether I've seen 4 previously or not. No, I haven't seen previously. So I'm going to pick 2 and its index. 2 and its index. Okay, it's 1. This is value. This is index. Okay. Now next I will pick 4. Okay, the next number. 6 minus 4 and it's 2. I'm going to check whether 2 is there in my dictionary or not. Yes, it's there. So I'm going to return 4 index, this one, 2 and the, the value 2 index. Okay. It's 1. Okay. It's 2 and 1. I'm going to return 2 and 1. Or I can return 1 comma 2 as well. Both will work. Okay. Now we will see the time complexity. Okay. So many people are thinking that dictionaries, when we access values in dictionaries, it's order of n. Okay. Actually, it's not. When we go and check the value in my dictionary, it's order of one. It's constant time. In Python, dictionaries works as like a hash table. We'll just go and access that particular element alone okay it will be order of one so the total time complexity will be order of n and since we store n values in the worst case it will be order of n as well this is my time and this is my space okay now we will see the code so now we will see the code so initially i will create an empty dictionary okay in order to store my values and their indices and I'm going to retrieve I'm going to get the index I will mention it as index okay it will be my index and it this will be my value I'm going to use enumerate function okay enumerate function will give me its index and values okay from the input array so I'm going to store it in reminder the target minus value okay now I'm going to check whether the reminder is in my dictionary or not okay if it is in my dictionary I'm going to return dictionary and it's the value index okay the, the index of the value and the current index okay Otherwise, I'm going to just store the store the value, the scene value with its index. Okay. I think it's fine. Hopefully it works. We'll see. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient and it's order of n and order of order of n time and order of n space also in the upcoming video i plan to explain about recursion in a very easy way and, and i'm not i'm not going to use uh, factorial or fibonacci series in order to explain i'm going to explain recursion like how to think many people struggle at the beginning like they are very uh, confused how to think recursively right so i'm going to explain clearly as much as possible plan to use a medium level question from lead code itself a recursive question and i'm going to explain how to think recursively uh, where it can be applied to any other problems in future okay so in order to get uh, up notifications when i upload that video please press the bell icon also subscribe my channel and keep supporting happy learning cheers guys